Hello, and thank you for visiting Worksheets and Walkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to take a look at single digit multiplication and more specifically the game of dog bones and bowls. And this is standard 30A1. We'll be looking at these worksheets. You can go to worksheets and walkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You can see we have the directions page with a few problems. We also have cutouts for the dog bones and dog bowls. Let's get started. For the example, we had Fuzzology the dog got two dog bone treats in his bowl each day. How many bones did he get in five days? We have some important clue information there. We have two dog bone treats that Fuzzology got each day. So that's each day. And now we have the question. This is our math job. We have to determine how many bones did he get in five days. We have that number five. So five and two are the main math clues that we have. And there are a couple of different ways you can go about doing this, as you can see in the example. We have the picture represented over here. We have the five dog bowls representing each day. And then in each, we have two dog bowls or dog treats two plus two plus two more plus two more plus two more it gets a little repetitive doesn't it well that is solution one so that would be re using repeated addition you could use two plus two plus two plus two equaling ten bones well there is a faster and easier new and improved way and that is solution two you could use multiplication and you could write five times two equals ten bones you could think of it this way the multiplication symbol means groups of so we have five times two or five groups of two and you can see that that would be two four six eight ten look at that i skip counted to get my answer in in other words i used multiples two multiples of two two four six eight ten so there we have it and we put it in a complete sentence you get yourself a nice complete answer well-rounded answer we got physiology got ten bones in five days now for the game once you've cut out the dog bones and the dog bowls and you have a couple of dice, you're ready to go. Let's take a look at the directions. We have roll the dice and then you'll have one die represent the number of dog bones and the other the number of dog bowls. Then we want to write the multiplication sentence and calculate the number of dog bones and write the answer in a complete sentence. Let's, let's get started with this. So the first thing you want to do is use your dice to get a couple of factors that we can work with. Go ahead and roll your dice. And in this case, I've come up with four and three we're dealing with. So in this case, we have four dog bowls with three treats in each bowl. Or you could think of it as four days, and each day, Physiology got three dog bone treats. So we can set up our math sentence. We'll go ahead and do that right now. So we have four bowls with three dog bone treats in each. Or you could think it of think of it as four groups of three. And we'll go ahead and set that up now. And you can see we have two factors and, and we're trying to find our product and that's what multiplication is all about. You've got a couple of factors and you're really trying to find your product. So we have four dog bowls representing the four days. And each day, Physiology will get three treats. There we have it. So let's set it up. One, two, three. In each bowl, four groups of three or four times three. You could think of it as repeated addition. If you're trying to figure it out as you move along, you could do three plus three plus three plus this last group of three over here. That would be that would be all right to use repeated addition because essentially multiplication is that. But 
Multiplication is a faster, more efficient way to do this, so it's good to know your basic facts. And let's prove this basic fact here with numbers, pictures, and words. So we have 4 times 3, and now we can figure it out. We can total it all up. We've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We could you could have done multiples, 3, 6, 9, 12. That'd be great. Multiplication is all about that. So now we, we found our solution or our product. And 4 times 3 would be 12. And now we want to put it in a sentence. So we could think of it as 12 what? Well, 12 dog bone treats. We could think of it as 12 bones our label for this problem and if we were to write it out in words we could do that too fuzzy got 12 dog bones in four days four days there you go there's our complete sentence and move that down so you can see it a little better So Fuzzy got 12 dog bones in four days. It must have been a good dog. So you could just repeat that. Let's just try it one more time. For a second example, we're going to use these numbers as our factors. So we'll make up our number sentence right away. We'll take care of that. We've got two different factors we're using. We have five and four. Try to figure out what that would be. Or you can think of it as five dog bowls with four treats in each. Or you can think of it as five days went by and Fuzzology got four treats each day. So we could set that up. And again, we've got two factors and we're trying to find the missing product here. The missing product. Okay. Well, let's check it out. So first of all, we need five dog bowls. And within each of those dog bowls, we'll have four treats. Set that up quickly and try to do this rather quickly this time. We've got four treats in each bowl. As you're going through this, you might see groups of two. Yeah. Because four is like two groups of two, right? In each bowl, you've got two groups of two. So when you go to total these up, you could count by four. You could count by twos. Or you could even memorize your facts. You might know what 5 times 4 is, and if you do, good for you. You could also even reverse the factors and think of it as 4 times 5. You could have 4 bowls with 5 in each because that works in multiplication. You can switch around those factors. It doesn't make a difference in terms of the product. So here we go. Let's total them all up in this bowl over here. Let's, let's circle it so we can highlight it. In this bowl, we have 4. So, Or you could think of it as 2, 4... 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So if you were thinking that Fuzzology got 20 dog bones, good for you. Nice job. So 20 bones. Oops. To switch my pen. So Fuzzology got 20 bones. 20 treats. You'd be exactly correct. There we have it. Now let's put our answer in a complete sentence. Fuzzology got 20 bones in four days. And there you have it. So you've got... You've got numbers in your multiplication sentence, pictures with the dog bones and bowls, and now we have words to make a nice, well-rounded answer. And look at that, a happy student. So you could play this game over and over and repeat it and practice your math multiplication facts, or you could use a spinner if you don't want to use dice, and it works the same way. So that's a quick intro to single-digit multiplication and a fun way to, to practice your skills. So thanks for checking out 
worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com, and we will see you again next time.